This is a two-channel Neta Fedri with the lid off. I'm using this uh, very low noise crystal oscillator. It's fed into the two inputs through an hybrid. And this is what I can see on the Linrad screen with correlation measurement enabled. The carrier is at roughly zero on the scale. And if I click log, let's say half a megahertz away, somewhere here, uh, I can see the noise floor far down at minus 109. That means that the carrier, the noise floor is 139 dBc per hertz. Minus 139. Uh, I will shift a little bit because we have a spur there. And now there is another spur, I think. And here there is no spur. Uh, the green curve is the average over 150,000. It is 20 decibels below the white curve, which means that the green curve, it's the limit on how good we can measure sideband noise with this unit, is at uh, 139 plus 21. That is minus 160 dBc per hertz. So this is a precision instrument for sideband noise measurement at wide separations. At the close range it is not good however. You can see this peak here. Uh, it doesn't work out to, uh, uh, to be removed by the correlation process. Uh, it comes from the sampling clock which is common to the two receivers and therefore correlated. So it cannot be averaged out. This improvement is obtained by putting 470 microfarads across the supply voltage, 3.3 volt, on the 80 megahertz oscillator. Here is the 470 microfarad 6.3 volt. It helps, but it doesn't help totally. With a much larger capacitor, uh, the noise on the supply voltage to the oscillator is removed more or less completely. Performance, as I can see, this is 100 kilohertz away. It is minus 107 uh, dB below the carrier in one kilohertz bandwidth. One kilohertz, you can see that. Uh, the green curve is 10 decibels below the white. So summing up, 107 plus 30, that is 137 plus 10, means 147 dBc per hertz. Looking at the data sheet, it says we should expect 145 dBc per hertz. So this looks very good now. Uh, we should have added a small resistor and then got away with the more sensible capacitor. I will show the details. Here I am feeding 50 kilohertz through a resistor of 5 ohms uh, into the oscilloscope and then I mounted one of these 470 microfarad capacitors uh, as a short circuit on the input. What I see on the oscilloscope is 23 and a half millivolt. This much bigger capacitor uh, brings the voltage down by nearly a factor of 10. It's now 2.75 millivolts. And here it's mounted on top of the other capacitor in the Afedri box.